Elite Facts presents World's Biggest Dogs 1. The St. Bernard is a giant, strong, muscular dog. The St. Bernard was originally bred by monks, most likely by crossing a Tibetan Mastiff with the Great Dane. They were used as a rescue dog working to save people from avalanches in the snowy passes near the hospice. The dogs are able to smell a person under many feet of snow. And here's one fully grown. This guy would dwarf most other dogs it comes into contact with, and can you imagine the amount of hair it sheds in summer? Two. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a large, strong, sturdy, agile dog. The Bernese Mountain Dog originated in the Swiss mountains. They were working dogs particularly good at draft work, pulling carts to market. They were also used to drive dairy cattle, to watch over the farm, and as companions to the farmers. And they can prove to be quite a handful when they're fully grown. Today the breed makes a wonderful companion, and they still to this day enjoy whatever draft work you can give them. The breed has a very kind approach to children and shares in their boundless energy. 3. The Anatolian Shepherd is a Turkish flock guarding dog, warned off wolves and other predators, and still works in that capacity today. He's also a fine family protector in the right home. They stand at 29 inches tall and weigh up to 150 pounds. 4. It's arguably the most famous of the giant dog breeds, and it's no wonder, with the Great Dane being almost instantly recognizable for its lumbering, lanky legs trying to play with other dogs. The dog is known as the Gentle Giant. And for good reason. The Great Dane is a very old breed, known as the Apollo of all dogs. They were admired for their ability to bring down bear and wild boar. The dogs were thought to have been wolfhounds mixed with old English mastiffs. With selective breeding, the Greyhound was added in to create the Great Dane. Despite being used as a hunter, they were also used as estate guard dogs. 5. You may recognize the Douche de Bordeaux from the film Turner and Hooch, the lovable rogue Hooch being so filled with saliva it couldn't help drool everywhere it went. As a pup, they're a bit different, but when fully grown, you can see how it produces so much fluids. It has a wrinkled head that's massive, heavy, and broad. Their teeth meet in an underbite, and the upper lips hanging thickly down over the lower jaw, giving the breed its signature grumpy-faced outlook on life. In reality, they're very loyal and lovable, and love to play. 6. Irish wolfhounds are known as regal, noble canines that bravely fought in battle, fiercely hunted wolves, and loyally guarded homes. Problems may occur when you own a large dog, like trying to fit them into your car, and having to spend exorbitant amounts on food. It can cost over $100 a month just to keep one fed. And it's because its stomach can reach human proportions, if not bigger. The Irish Wolfhound can be nearly 7 feet when on its hind legs and enjoys the great outdoors as it was bred to aid in the hunts of rich folks of the olden days. 7. The Old English Mastiff is a massive dog. The Mastiff has a large, heavy, square head with a well-marked stop between the eyes. A very old breed, it was depicted in Egyptian monuments as early as 3000 BC. Caesar brought a pack of mastiffs to Rome where the dogs were put on display as arena gladiators and forced to be in fights with human gladiators, lions, bull baiting, bear baiting, and in dog-to-dog -dog combat. They later became popular with the peasants in England where they were used as a bodyguard, protector of wolves and other dangerous predators, and as a companion dog. They still make very good guard dogs, but also show love and affection to their owners and family. 8. This is a Tibetan Mastiff. In August 2013, a zoo in China's Henan province tried to pass off one of these guys as a lion in an exhibit. The gimmick was up when the lion started barking. Obviously, Tibetans weigh a lot. Some can tip the scales at up to 200 pounds. The most expensive one sold for one million to a businessman in China. He's called Big Red. Nine. This giant breed strode on the world's view when it won the 2011 Kennel Club show. The lithe and lanky dog once bred to bring down stags in the Scottish Highlands can reach 32 inches in height and weigh up to 110 pounds. They're similar to the wolfhound, but they were bred to bring down taller prey rather than fend others off. Ten. This pup seems to be a beautiful Samoyed, a dog first bred in western Siberia that is typically used for sledding and cuddling to keep their owners and children warm, of course. They have a permanent look of happiness on their faces and they will gladly play and play all day. 
They also like an intellectual challenge for the most part and can problem solve extremely well. 11. Newfoundland dogs like this one have double coats that include a soft, dense undercoat and a coarse, long outer coat. They love the water and were bred to haul in fishing nets from the sea, which often required swimming long distances as well as rescuing drowning people. They have webbed feet to help in this, as well as a waterproof coat, so no excuse not to take them out for walkies in the rain. 12. With proper training, large dog breeds like this Leonberger can become extremely gentle giants. But their kindness can invite some unwanted side effects. Leonbergers can shed a lot. Two times a year, the Leonberger will shed in very large quantities. Some owners have taken to referring their dog's hair as condiments. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.